Hello everyone, today we're going to determine the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of an n-gon. So exterior angle means um, it's on the outside, so as you can see on the picture, so the angles that we have on this picture are located on the outside. There is another video that talks about the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an n-gon. I will put the link of that video in the description box below, but today we're going to have the ones that are located on the outside or the exterior. I have put a little note here inside a red box that's the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any n gone is always 360, which means that if we add each of these angles, it's going to be 360. Since we have an expression over here, 3x and 4x, so then we need to determine what the x is, such that if we add all of these together, it will come out 360. So let's set up our equation. So we, we're going to start with four, six, uh, 46. So I'm going to write 46. I'm just going to go around plus 3x plus 62, and then plus 4x, and then plus 47, plus 93. Again, all of these, 46, 3x, 62, 4x, 47, 93, is equal to 360, because that's the sum of all the measures inside, um, or the interior angle, I'm sorry, exterior angle of a polygon. So this time around, we're going to combine like terms. So we have um, 3x plus 4x is 7x, so I'm going to write 7x here, and then we're going to add all the constants, so that would be 46 plus 62 plus 47 plus 93, the total for that is 248, so that would be 7x plus 248 equals 360. And then from here, we are going to subtract 248 from both sides, minus 248. So then we can cross out the 248. We're left with 7x equals 112. We divide both sides by 7. We divide this by 7. So we are left with x is equal to 16. So the value of x here would be 16, which means that if we multiply 3 times 16, that would be 48. So this angle right here is 48 degrees. And then we can come up with uh, this uh, corner right here, this, this exterior angle. 4 times 16 is 64. So then this angle right here is 64 degrees. So if you add 46, 48, 62, 64, 47, 93, it will come out 360. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. You solve for Y, and if you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much the same thing. I wrote the little note that we uh, used at the beginning of this section that the sum of the measures of the exterior angle of an n-gon is always 360. So from here, we can go ahead and um, write this all out. So I'm going to start with 70 first. So that would be um, 70 plus 6y minus 5 plus 5. 40 plus 65 and then plus 60 equals 360. Okay, so then from here we combine like terms. We only have one uh, variable here which is 6y. So I'm just going to go ahead and write 6y and then we are going to add all the constants. So that would be 70 minus 5 plus 40 plus 65 plus 60, that would come out 230. So 6y plus 230 equals 360. So this is equal to 360 right here. So we're going to subtract uh, 230 from both sides. So minus 230 minus 230. So we are left with 6y equals 130. So then we divide both sides by 6. Divide this by 6, so we are left with y is equal to 130 over 6. We can reduce this to the lowest term. This is divisible by 2, so then we can go ahead and write y is equal to 130 divided by 2 is 65. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 
So this is our value for y. And this makes sense because if we check our work over here, so if we plug this value into this expression, because it's the only one that has a variable on it, 65 over 3, so that would be 6 um, times, that's going to be 65 over 3 minus 5. So we put in the value for y, which is 65 over 3, 65 over 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 65 minus 5. So 2 times 65 is 130. So that would be 130 minus 5 is 125. So that means this side right here is 125 degrees. So if you add 70, 125, 40, 65, and 60, the total is 360. Did you get the same answers as these? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!